We're here in the dugout relaxing with Ken Caminetti, having a nice thinking coffee on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, first of all, you guys were in first place. Cardinals came in, or you came in and played the Cardinals, and now uh, half game out. What do you think is going to happen here in the rest of the season for you guys? We just got to show up and play. Um, I hate to think about it, you know. It just we, we need to play the Cardinals today, and um, that's all we got to worry about. Uh, they play us tough. They played us tough all year. Um, in my mind, this is the toughest team we play. Um, that's my personal opinion. They do everything right, um, but we got seven games left, you know, with Dodgers. So. You don't want to have to come down to that. You'd like to go into that series with the lead. But uh, you know, it's a tough team we're playing. We, we just got to concentrate on today and, and, and you know, try and get a lead going into the West Coast teams. So when you say toughest team that you play now, would you even say that over Atlanta and L.A.? You think this might be the yeah. best team in the I think this is the best team in the NL. This year might be considered a breakthrough year for you uh, offensively. Now, defensively, we knew what you could do. But offensively, 32 home runs. You're having a great season. Uh, do you think this is a breakthrough season for yourself? Well, I've overcome a lot of a lot of problems this year. I've had some some ligament problems, lower abdominal problems, shoulder problems. Um, I really didn't think anything. Uh, I was so frustrated at one time. I was just saying, you know, I'm just going to get everything fixed. I have to get my shoulder uh, repaired at the end of this year. But I was thinking about going ahead and doing it because I wasn't helping the team. I went through a two for 52 slump, and it was miserable. But it started feeling a lot better. I started putting the ball in play. I started not fouling off the pitches, but hitting them a little bit better. Um, and all of a sudden, my power came. And uh, I'm, I'm real excited about w what's happened for me this year. I, I just want to show up and play. And, and at the end of the day, hopefully, I help the team. You went to Mexico, uh, got sick, were hooked up to an IV, and then you just start pounding the ball. Is that something you like to do, is get sick and then just start driving the ball? No, definitely not. <laughs> but <clears throat> you know. Uh, that's probably the worst thing I've ever overcome to play a baseball game, and you never like to tap yourself on the back, but I, I tapped myself on the back after that because I came to the ballpark sick, 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 and cramping, everything. I just wasn't functioning. I was white. They put an IV in me, um, put two bags of fluid in me, put all this carbohydrate drinks in me. Two minutes before the game, I ran one sprint through two baseballs, and hit two home runs, so, and then I couldn't make it the rest of the game. I only played four or five innings, and I had to come out because I was cramping up again. They put another IV in me, stuck some more bags in me, and for about four days after that, they had to monitor my fluids because I was just overheated. But you still knocked the ball over the plate. You had like 17 RBIs in six games. So exactly. I, I was unconscious <laughs> there. It was, it was a whole bunch of fun. I, was, I don't know if I was tired, but I was kind of just, you know, yeah, and... and you pl you play good sometimes when you when you're relaxed and in that state and I knew that I played a one other game in that kind of state and I was in Double A baseball and I had the best game of my career at that point I mean it was a five for five game and so I just you just never know what you can do unless you put yourself on the field and that's what I try and do I try and put myself on the field every day and lately we've heard your name in MVP talks late comer but uh, do you think about that kind of stuff. No, I try not to. I've, I've been kind of spinning the, my head floating around, but I, I don't like to think of it at all. Uh, I think that tends to put a little bit too much pressure on me. I just want to go and play the game uh, to what got me to this point. To what, you know, I didn't think about anything like that, and I just don't want to continue to think of that. I just want to go out and play the game. Is this the closest you've been? I know 89, the Astros kind of crept the Giants a little bit, but uh, this year you've been in the race and in first place most of the year. This has been the closest I've been to a postseason. Um, actually, we were half a game out in the 94 season with the Astros, but that's the year we struck in, in August. So, um, you know, it's just uh, it's still a lot of year left. Um, I just want to try and keep the teammates pumped up and ready to go because this postseason is all, all I've ever wanted to play for in the last four years. The first couple years of your career, you just want to show up and play. But now it's all about postseason. I've never been there, and I'm one of the, the longest players. I think I'm ninth on the list for the longest players without a postseason. So that's, that's on my mind, definitely. And do you think you'll be shaving that goatee in September or late October? Uh, I'm hoping in, in late October. <laughs> Because I shave it at the last game. The last game, it's, it's off for the winter. 
that's ken caminiti third baseman for the padres so we thank you very much